Valentine's Day show. We are so happy to have you all come tonight. Now, as I'm looking into the audience, I think I'm seeing some new faces. Can I, can you guys please make some noise if this is your first improv show? Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I see we're mostly veterans here, that's okay. Now, that means that you all already know that everything you are about to see performed here tonight has never been done before and will never be done again. Yeah, so that means that all the moments that we share here tonight are gonna be something special for us all to share and be a part of by living in the here and the now. So before we get started, let's take a moment to introduce ourselves. My name is David, and to my left. Kenzie. Evan. Ricardo. Dakota. Smaller Evan. <laughs> so to set the mood for tonight, we are going to start by singing you guys what we call an Irish love ballad. Now, the way that the Irish love ballad works is we are going to make up every line of the song one line at a time. And to do that, we are going to start by getting a suggestion for a location that you might take someone on a date. started hiking. It was romantic. It was so hot. Oh boy, I think I'm starting to tick. Oh, I need, 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 I need. We saw the radiant sunset. It was so bright. Boy, the sun was blue. And it filled with light. Oh, 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 oh I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Now we are there. I'm going to there often. We are going to find even though we're coughing. I'm feeling sick. I think my skin's a-bubbling. I should get that checked out. Cause this sounds like troubling. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I I no longer have hands. This is a problem. <laughs> I'm running to the core. It is a problem. <laughs> I'm going down to Prague. Oh, shit. Prague. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Prague. I'm turning into a frog. Oh, I need, 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 Thank you, thank you. I heard New Jersey. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. I got in my car. I was driving fast to New Jersey. I'm sitting on my ash. We were on the highway. I cleaned my seat. We were speeding. I can't be beat. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I I got a speeding ticket. The cop was so mean. I jumped out of the driver's seat. And started to beat his bean. Ah, his bean was unharmed. It was dead. I didn't know where I was going. So I bumped him in the head. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I I'm wanted everywhere. I can't go back to Jersey. I need to run away from Jersey. <laughs> it is so bad. I'm going to go to snow. Where it is cold. No one else can go. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I Oh, when I went back to Jersey. We found a lot. We found men. I was arrested for smoking pot. <laughs> there was a warrant. And I was fine. I was arrested. And now I'm going to cry. Oh, I did, 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 I Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, We know the real reason 
that you were available on this lovely Friday evening is because you need relationship advice. And so we're hosting a show inside the show, which is uh, a relationship dating advice show. Uh, we have three knowledgeable experts right here who will be answering all of your questions, qualms, and queries about relationships. Our first contestant, could you introduce yourself to our audience? I am Bjorn. I'm a Viking from the 11th century. Yes, and this guy pulls. Let oh, me tell you. Yes. <laughs> All right. I got your gotcha game. Contestant number two. Uh, hi, my, my name's Jessica. I, I, I didn't know there were going to be so many people listening. Just the, all, all those people hearing my voice. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Just high yeah. commitment. Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was in the email. Um, Even I read that. All right. Um, contestant number three. I am Stort. I eat metal. <laughs> Stuart is going to be your, your guide to love tonight. All right. Uh, can we get any, anyone who needs a, a question answered? Raise your hand. Uh, I see you there. Uh, yeah, I went on a Tinder date, and my, uh, my match lied. She's actually a dragon. <laughs> your date was a dragon. You could say your date was a catfish. <laughs> You'll get that on the ride home. You'll get that on the ride home. Anyways, anyways, uh, Bjorn, can you uh, offer some insight? You get great glory if you kill her. <laughs> Bjorn, he's, he's looking for relationship advice. The only relationship you need is with Valhalla. <laughs> Should have vetted you. <laughs> yeah, probably is. All right, uh, Jessica? Oh, gosh. Like, D don't, definitely don't fight the dragon. Actually, just don't go on Tinder at all. That seems like like going out there, having people like judge you like on on social media. No, no, just don't. Go into the forest, live out your days there. It's a lot safer. Trust me. Yeah, that that, make, that makes uh, that's one way to do it. Um, uh, Stuart. So if, if 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 you run into a dragon and you've never eaten dragon before, right? I have never. You can take a bite. You're allowed. <laughs> You're allowed to eat the... Yeah, you're allowed to take a bite if you've never <laughs> eaten it before. And what if you have eaten it before? You can't. <laughs> you get one, you get one. It's you like, get one bite. It's, it's like, the same with people. It's like Costco. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully that helps you uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, there's, maybe there's a different different app you can go on for non-dragons. All right, uh, if we get another, another question. Uh, you there. Yes. Is there any, what, what, was, what was they? They, uh, were not dragons. They weren't a dragon. Yeah. Are you looking for dragons? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you're in the market for, you should, you should talk to this guy. <laughs> He's got at least one phone number. Uh, Bjorn, what do you have? Well, uh, you can probably find one in Valhalla or maybe or on your local bar or maybe on the side of a ship. There's probably wooden dragons. You could simulate the experience you're looking for. That's the prob that's probably what I would do. Not that I've done it before, you know. All right, thank you, Bjorn. That's, you're welcome. That's a way. Uh, Jessica? All right, listen, listen. I, I obviously I cannot sway you away from your destiny if you are if you are just that committed to seeing a dragon. Personally, I would recommend just starting like a little bit lower, like maybe like dinosaur. I heard Barney's pretty friendly, like a lot oh. more cuddly. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. That's one way. He was seen pretty sad on the dragon, but yeah. Thanks. Uh, Stuart, what do, you, what do you think? When I'm feeling pretty peckish, the Cincinnati Zoo has very bad security, and they have a Komodo dragon. If you will settle for a Komodo dragon, then you can go to the Cincinnati Zoo and walk in. It's put two and two together. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You can just steal people, <laughs> slash dragons. All right, Stuart. Maybe uh, we cool it. In the next, <laughs> next question. No stealing people. That's not. No. Us. People don't like to be kidnapped. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got. Uh, we can do two more questions. Uh, you there? Yeah. Um, my whenever I like go out to dinner with my girlfriend, she always like tries to pay for my food. Uh, you know, sometimes I want a treat to dinner. So, um, like, how could I maybe let her let me pay sometimes? Let her let you pay. That's I want to pay. You want to pay. Yeah. 
Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know, it's like a kind gesture. Yeah, 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 no, no, I've been there. Uh, Jordan, what do you think? Well, whenever Helga pulls these shenanigans on me, I take my axe and I slap it down and I say, let me pay for the gosh darn Heyman. <laughs> that normally works. Yeah, you could, you could insist on being, you could just insist on paying. <laughs> Have you tried being more forward? Or faster. <laughs> Communication is very important in Viking relationships. Yeah. Jessica, what do you think? Uh, so, you know, I, I don't like talking to waiters. Waiters are just, you know, like, I, I, you, you, you can't trust them. So what I normally do is I, like, go to the grocery store and go to the self-checkout aisle and, like, just, you know, like, order a bunch of food. And then I go to the restaurant and, like, whatever food I would have ordered there, I got from the grocery store so I can just eat it there. And we don't have to worry about paying because I've already paid for it. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Uh, Stuart, what do you what, do you... what, what, what kind of schmuck turns down free food? <laughs> Life is about eating. Life is about the feast, right? And you're, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna avoid that. You're gonna resign yourself from, from the duties of, of eating what's given to you. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I, I, I'd take the meal. That sounds pretty good. All right, we have time for one more question. Uh, you there, right there. You're just putting it right on me. <laughs> well, the issue with that is that if Katy Perry's transported from time, that's an issue. I'll have to get her number and track her down back to Viking time where she belongs. <laughs> Thank you, Bjorn. Yeah. Jessica, what do you think? Oh, I didn't. I didn't even. You see, like kissing is just like you know that's such like a high commitment. Maybe maybe you should like scale it back a little bit. Maybe like. You know, like, maybe, like, go in for, like, hand-holding, but, like, don't actually hold hands. Just, like, you know, do this sort of thing where, like, you're hovering mm -hmm. just barely. That, that's that's yeah. where I would go. Don't don't immediately go to kissing. Yeah, undo that kiss. <laughs> uh, uh, Stuart, what do, you, what do you think? If 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 you schedule kisses often enough that it, it becomes regular, one day you can attempt to bite. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, you can't keep doing this. You invited me. Yeah. Okay. You know my record. Oh, well, we, you're always a handful. You know, Stuart, you could bite me. All right, we're going to have to end, have to end the show early. All right, and that was, uh, that was our, our show. gods of love and we have a task we are going to make two people fall in love two different people archetypes yes so we need a suggestion for a person to make fall in love Santa Claus a left player Mario a kind of person a, a kind of person an astronaut I heard an astronaut I heard an astronaut can we get one more I heard a horse girl. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna need. Oh, where are these guys? Where are these people? Yeah. What location are they gonna fall in love with? Okay. I heard I heard a mall hot topic. All right, All right, so so we have a horse girl and an astronaut falling in love. We need them to fall in love. This is important. In a hot topic. In a hot topic. All right, we need our best our best cupids on the job. All right, cupids, you two are number one and two. Which one is one and which is two? That's not important. <laughs> it's important to me. Yeah, well, you'll find out, I guess, at the end of this mission. We need you to find two people and make them fall in love. Okay. As per usual. At a hot topic. Oh, that's You're, cool. You'll find your people at a hot topic. We will we will teleport you down to Earth outside of a mall. You need to find the hot topic and then find two people. 
One of them is an astronaut. Okay. Are you ready to be teleported to the mall? Wait, who's the, the second one? person? Now tell them what the other one is. Astronaut. No, 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 no. No, the second yeah, person. Yeah, the second one. Oh, a there's horse another... girl. There's a horse okay. girl. All right, yeah. Thank you. All right, you'll face many challenges along the way. You will have the strength to overcome them. Okay. We will beam you down in three, two, one. Yeah, oh my goodness. It's Ugh. so weird to feel like you haven't moved at all. This is a, 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 an adult-only mall, so you need to prove you're not underage. Oh no. I, I became an angel last week. I, is there somebody around here we can steal their ID? Oh, I got an idea, hold on. Mm. I always bring my fishing pole with me. Cupid, Cupid, maybe if you find some alcohol containers, they'll know that you drink and are of my age. <laughs> okay, sounds like a plan. Or the ID thing could work. Excuse me, oh, sir. What, what are you doing? Are you a child? No, do you know where I can find some alcohol? Or <laughs> I'm 21 and can buy alcohol. Oh, come right this way, sir. Thank you. It, it worked. I, I couldn't find an ID, but I found alcohol in his pocket. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, oh. Cupids. Cupid, there's a there's a map inside of the mall. It's right when you walk in. It's a big, it's a big like kiosk. Oh. I, I see it. It's right You'll here. You'll be able to use this to locate the hot topic. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're like on the north side of the mall, so I'm pretty sure we have to like walk into the middle and like go past the Claire's and then take a left. Yeah. I don't, this map is hard to read. Humans, watch out. Mall security is coming to your behind. Oh. 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 Mall security. Here, here. Oh. Crawl behind the kiosk. No children. <laughs> Where do they go? <laughs> nice work, Cupids. He's very short-sighted. <laughs> you will find the astronaut in um, William Sonoma. Wait, he oh, is cooking. Hold on a second. There's a vent kiosk here. We can crawl through the ventilation shaft. Great idea, Cupid. If we just. <laughs> Jump down, like. Do you... Okay. Hi. Oh, hello. We're. It's a long story. Listen, you need to come with us if if you want to live a happier life. Uh, can I cook my omelets at wherever we're going? Cupids, do not let him cook those omelets, or the timeline will be destroyed. Uh, <laughs> you see, you could, but they're up in the ventilation. Bruh. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be much happier where we're going. Yeah. Do you like anime? <laughs> How did you know? Come with us. Okay. Cool. All right, Cupids, you'll see when you enter in the hot topic, there's an emo guy who's going to ask you if you're looking for anything specific. You are not. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm always nervous walking in here. I feel like the teenagers are judging me. <laughs> they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> hey! Ooh. Are you, like, looking for anything specific? No. No. That's the passcode. Whoa. You, you All right, can... right Cupid, you're in. You'll find the horse girl. <laughs> You'll find the horse girl among the t-shirts of Elmo and the bombs. But be careful with those saw blades. Oh my goodness. When did they install those? It's, it's for the hot topic aesthetic. Um, hey, hey, hey. Are you a horse? Yeah. Do you saunter or canter? I canter. You want to see? Hang on, I have to wait for the sound blade to pass. You were saying? I have to saunter this way to show you somebody. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. show me the Cupid. sauntering. We need you to get them to reach for the same Elmo-themed t-shirt. 
When their hands touch, that's when you hit them with the arrows. Are you wearing only an apron? Yes. <laughs> Cupid's now! Cupid's it's really a good way to air, air myself out. Actually, though, I'm thinking... Uh, Oh. I would All like right, to, get out of there right now! I would like to ride you. studio audience here. Um, this next game we're going to be playing is called Red Flags. Um, and I, these, all these people here have their own little dating grievances um, that their significant others or just some of their previous dates have recommended that they improve on. And I'm here today to, um, I'm here today to help them work through that, hopefully. Oh, wow, they're getting off the fancy chair for me. Um, of course, Maureen. Um, as you know, I am Maureen. Um, I, uh, I have communicated with um, every type of person that you could ever date. Every single one. Um, but first, I think we should, um, I should let you guys know that this is, um, uh, well, we should start over with there with you, Jackson. What up? Jackson. I called your wife. What? <laughs> she had quite a few things to say, Jackson. Oh, no. Listen, Jackson, you have an American Psycho poster in your bedroom. <laughs> I, I just like the, 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 the business card scene. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I think that's well, kind of messed up. Yeah, listen, it, it's, a, it's an American psycho. It, it's like listening to American Idiot. It, it's going to turn you into an American American psycho. Wait, really? Preach. That's, th that's what we've been constantly fighting for. TV shows are going to turn you into what they promote. Oh. Yeah, it was awful the day after I watched Bones. <laughs> well, that's why you look like that. Okay. Don't worry, Mark. We'll get to you. Well, that wasn't so bad, Jackson. That was, yeah, that's not terrible. It's not like I killed anybody, right? Oh, uh, well, well, we'll come back to you, Jackson. Oh, God. Uh, Barry. Barry, my boy. Listen. I'm no perfect. Way. My relationship <laughs> yeah, is great. Yeah, Barry. Yeah, Barry. Hi, you tell him. Barry, Barry. Um, you know 64 cement mixer number mo or model numbers and their specs. I was employee of the month. <laughs> yeah. How is that a red flag? It's a red flag because it shows that you're just too committed to your work, Barry. So just living in your head rent free, Barry. I I can hardly remember things because I'm always thinking about semen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> Listen, I, I was talking. I talked with one of your pre, uh, previous Tinder dates, and you you called them. You you referred to them uh, by your favorite bottle number of cement mixer. <laughs> It's my favorite model cement mixer. It's a, that means a lot. It's a very, it's a very uh, high temperature uh, cement mix. It means I thought they were hot. <laughs> but that's a, that's a cement mixer joke. That's really the highest praise you can give. Yeah. Honestly. But you, it's I, like, it's I, like, it's like saying I love you on, on like the first date. You gotta save it for like later. I guess I could see that. <laughs> you know what, Maureen? You're always right. I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll try to change a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Maureen never hits the mark. Julia, what? It, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> Maureen, what are you implying? Julia, do you know what your catchphrase is? It's crypto epic. <laughs> it's, it's, I did think that was pretty cringe the first time. Yeah. You said it's it. crypto epic. You know, it's like <laughs> epic, but with, with the word that the young kids like. Like if you were like, if you were like cement epic. Like, I get it. Yeah, that would be good. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't go that far. Barry, I, would, I wouldn't go that far. So Crypto but, Epic is better than Cement Epic. No, I, we're, I, I am not saying that. Listen, Julia, Julia it's just you're, you're trying too hard to fit in with the kids. I think it's Crypto great. And I think you're being Crypto judgmental. <laughs> get, get it. You, you can't just preclude all of your adjectives with Crypto. 
Yes, a crypto can. <laughs> that was a verb. <laughs> <laughs> we might we might need to have an extra session. Uh, Donald. Yes. Hello. Oh, not Donald. Donald. So no, Donald's perfect. Donald's, yeah, Donald's, Donald's, Donald's never done anything wrong. Donald's got it. Um, Donald is a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Julia. Excuse me. How a crypto, a crypto bastard. And I oh, we were okay. yeah, that's right. And I thought we were friends. L listen, guys, guys, stop quarreling. Maureen's gonna do that. Yeah. Listen, Julia may not be that far off. You're a foot guy. <laughs> Donald, no! Donald! As expected. Donald. To think we trusted you. Listen, it's not as bad as everyone says it is. Donald, there's no excuse. Is that why you love Pulp Fiction? <laughs> it is literally the best movie ever made. So I don't know why. I can't believe we defended you. It's no Casa <laughs> Donald, there are so many other parts of the body you can appreciate. The head, the. The arms. Can we skip Donald? <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We have to keep the. We want to keep the I, mean, I know we have paragraphs for this guy. <laughs> uh, now that I know. All right. M Mark, now finally to you. Hi. Mark. Yes. Play it I, on me. I know you go to RIT and I know what club you're a part of. <laughs> oh no. How did you find out? Yikes. I found out from the um, RIT Improv Club president that you do improv. Oh. It was supposed to say a secret! And I'm the weird one? It was supposed to say a secret? Charles, you're still the weird one. Yeah, John, come you're on. Still yeah. The weird it's one. a different flavor of weird, You can have Charles. two weird ones. Yeah. Look, it's just helping me with public speaking. It literally doesn't. It literally does not. <laughs> yeah. I've never spoken publicly improv once. Improv unambiguously makes your life worse. Yes. Unlike crypto. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Ma Mark, I had a cousin who said that they were doing improv to improve their public speaking skills. Now they do it for a job. I had to cut them out of my life. It's a slippery slope, Mark. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it down is. Yeah. Right, Maureen, All anything? Right. Back to you, Jackson. Oh, 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 oh geez. God. Jackson. Punch me, damn it. <laughs> I'll kick you, maybe. Whoa. <laughs> Don't stop. No, I like that. What? We'll come back to that. Like or, not John. I'm sorry. He's he, Jackson. Yeah. You're a born again Christian. Whoa! Oh, yeah, baby, and proud. <laughs> that's fine. I think that's okay. No I comment. It's nice. <laughs> Listen, li it's it's not the problem of, of Christian. It's being born again. Look, Wait, I just what? thought it was. Are you a zombie? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That is a red flag. That is, in fact, a red flag. Are you, uh, are you losing any limbs by any chance? I have lost my limbs. You leg. can't have his feet! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be wanted. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Listen, maybe you and Jonathan can talk after the show. Listen, Barry. Barry, there better not be more. <laughs> you, have a lot to, you, have, you have a lot of nerve criticizing uh, of Julia over here when you support NFTs. What? Oh, 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 no, Julian said it. Oh, I okay. Mean, okay, I like them for the artwork, and I also <laughs> like them. I also like them because they're artificially inflating the value of some of my ethers. But it's yeah. not. It's not a crypto. It's a real currency. Go apes! You're we not, are not the same. Barry, <laughs> you're not buying the artwork. You're buying a JPEG to the artwork. It's like buying a star. Hey, I will not be convinced because I cannot be convinced otherwise. <laughs> nope, still not like you. <laughs> All right, Julia. I'm not listening. Well, you're gonna have to listen in a second. As soon as, as, soon as I get these. Oh, Julia. What? You really like Catcher in the Rye? Oh. And you cosplay as Holden Cauliflower? <laughs> you would never get a bow. If you, if you pretend to be Holden, he's a walking red flag. <laughs> he's young. He's, he's figuring stuff out. It's provocative. And he was so good at catching that ride. It was <laughs> provocative in the 80s, Julie. Oh, you know what's provocative now? Move Crypto, but, but you hate it. <laughs> it's not provocative. It's stupid. There's a difference. Catcher in the rye, also stupid. Oh, oh, if provocative and stupid are the same thing, then I guess you're pretty, pretty
crypto provocative. <laughs> I'm calling you stupid. You know, I, don't right know, there. I don't know if I'm gonna come back next time, knowing <laughs> knowing what you've become. This is this has gotten very very heated. I we will we will have a separate a separate conversation for you guys as well. Um, but Donald, hello, get him. <laughs> Donald, you hang on a pole and you're colored red. Well, yeah, the blood has to rush somewhere. Mm. <laughs> but just, <laughs> do you know how many? You just you do it you do it on every single pole, like the American flag pole, subway poles. Do you know how nasty those subway poles are, John? I have aspirations, and I need to get my practice. I saw him at a strip club. At a strip Ooh. club? Yeah. Well, oh my God. I have to work my way up to that. <laughs> so oh. I'm getting my practice where I can. Subways, flag poles, you know. I've only been kicked out of a couple places for it. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed back on the you know New York City transit, but that's fine. <laughs> not missing lunch. <laughs> I see you in a whole new light now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> all, all right, Mark, listen, listen. I, I, I don't even know how to, how to approach this one. It can't be that bad. When you, when you text people, your message bubbles are always green. <laughs> oh, 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 an android. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hate okay. to see that. What is that? You guys are kind of cutting deep, all right? I got a picture, I, I, I got a picture from Mark and it was blurry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Well, the, Julia, do you text? No. <laughs> that, that might explain the crypto epic thing now that I think about it. Uh, are you are you implying that I'm technologically illiterate? Julia doesn't know anything about technology. I, I, I know That's things. why she's stuck in 2016. I, I... NFTs are the future! NFTs are the future! revolutionary! NFTs are the future! That has been uh, Maureen. Come back next time. Scene. Yeah. <laughs>
morning show. I would like you to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm 23 and I'm looking for love. 23 and looking for love. Well, fortunately, we have three contestants for you here. All you have to do is ask them questions and figure out which one you would like to take home. Mm, I'm kind of nervous. Um, okay, well, we'll start with like a, a basic question, I guess. Um, what would you say your guys is most important feature is in a partner? <laughs> Contestant number one. Well, I like someone who's roughly the same height as me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Contestant number two. You know what they say about people with big feet. <laughs> someone who has an open mind and it likes to likes to do fun things and activities. Oh, that sounds nice. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you know, those answers were interesting, but you know, I'm still not I don't know you guys very well. What would you say your guys' family is like? Are you close to them? <laughs> can, I, can I phone a friend? <laughs> dating shows. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Contestant number two, do you want to answer? Um, I'd say my family is pretty tight-knit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Contestant number three. <laughs> uh, well, I have a pretty regular family. My dad's kind of strict. He doesn't let me let me do my passions. Mm. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I moved out, so now I'm able to express myself and, and be free. So that's good. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I'm, that sounds like you've grown a lot. Um, hmm. I think for my next question, I want to know, you know, how you feel about me. So, if you were to take me on a date, where would we go? This puts me in kind of a rough position, but uh, <laughs> if, I, if I said that I'm taken, but I'd still go out in a certain situation, what would you say, hypothetically, of course? Wait. <laughs> I, I think, I think, the, I think the, uh, the, the guesser, the, the, the uh, guest has to be asking the questions, contestant one. I, I think I deserve to be able to break the rules here a little bit, you know? <laughs> I'm on a little bit of a power trip right now. Goodness. <laughs> the Megan president and... <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't really have to ask you. I mean, we'd probably go to, like... I don't know... Piecraft? Maybe? <laughs> Yeah, probably. Maybe I don't Texas know what that Roadhouse. is. But I'm sure, I'm sure somebody does. <laughs> Maybe we just stay home and watch Hell's Kitchen. I was thinking about maybe like Pennsylvania area, you know? <laughs> Why is this guy getting so much time? <laughs> <laughs> Contestant two. Um, let's see. So, I mean, if I wanted to be really fancy, you know, maybe could fly out to maybe like Italy or something, you know. Uh, I really like the shape of that country. But, uh, <laughs> but honestly, I would be down to go anywhere uh, that I can just spend a lot of time with you. You know, a great outdoors uh, works too. You wouldn't you know. want to go somewhere you could walk to? Um, you know, that, that works too. Um, would yeah, you say? I'm, I'm up for anything. Hmm. Would you say you'd rather go for like a jog or maybe a hike? Or I'd say more like a jog. I'm, I'm an <laughs> active person, I, yeah. All right. And I'm sure maybe you don't want to get like too tied down, maybe? Actually, I like getting tied up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, contestant 
number three. All right, listen to this, girl. We go to, we go to Wegmans. You can get anything you want there. We go Wegmans, we get all a bunch of, bunch of stuff, and then we take it back to my house. I have an empty room. You can do anything, uh, and, we, and we have food, and uh, we're only limited by what we can come up with. How does that sound? That sounds like so much fun. In fact, I have more questions for you, because you're the most confusing one. Um, would you say that you feel like you're something that a lot of artists find important? Yeah. Okay. I think. Do you like to come up with like a lot of different ideas? Yeah, artists, writers, musicians. Okay. You know, I think I might be ready to make my decision. Oh All right. boy, you rainbow bastard. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go out on a limb. Oh. And guess that contestant three is creativity. Yeah, yeah. Is it? A little, a little bit more. Um, I think you need, uh, you need to have a more well thought out answer. A well thought out answer? Is it like intelligent? Say starting letter. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was that? I th does that mean you're picking me? Uh, we'll come back. <laughs> um, contestant number two. Yeah. Are you a sneaker? Are you shoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. He is shoes. He is shoes. He need shoes. <laughs> Contestant number one, are what? you Thomas Christopher Dell? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's gonna pick? Um, you know, this might surprise everybody, but I'm gonna go with the shoes. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have shown no, that no, love no. can be found in even the strangest of places. <laughs> But that is our first act. We will take about a 10 minute intermission and then we are going to come back. In the meantime, think. Think of some of your, uh, uh, think of some of your uh, juiciest breakup stories. Yeah, we're gonna do scenes off of them. See y'all in 10 minutes. We are going to need a breakup story from you. So, can we get a brave audience volunteer that has a story of a breakup? Raise your hand. David is going to come to you with the microphone. All right. I see someone with their hands raised. Brilliant. Um, David, Very can bad. you find him? Find him. Last row. Find him down. Find him down. <laughs> Bring him out. Oh, it's not the last row, David. No, it was, oh, no. It was down Too here. Far. Too far. We're finding Waldo. Right here. David? <laughs> I lied to you, David. You know me. Hello. Whoa. Hi. So, tell us about your breakup. Um, I dated an Irish drummer. Whoa. A what? Um, I dated an Irish drummer, and then he ghosted me and left me for cocaine. Um, <laughs> was his name Jack? What? Was his name Jack? No, it was Dylan. Oh, so you you dated an Irish man named Dylan, and he offered you cocaine. No, he, he left, left her. Me for cocaine. Oh, he left you for cocaine. He was a drummer. Okay. In a punk band. A punk band. Okay. A punk Irish band. Yeah. <laughs> what were, what were they rebelling against? <laughs> Brexit. Were they rebelling against the UK? Damn. I actually think so. What was the name of the band? What was the name? Wait, I have it on my. <laughs> something Irish then. Something Irishman. I got it. Irish where, where, uh, where did you meet him? 
in Ireland. <laughs> Oh, okay. You, you, you don't have to say the name of the band, but where, where did you meet the Irish Dylan? Um, no one can make fun of me. We won't. Yeah. I, I met him on Omegle. Hey, All right. right. Oh. All right. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Oh. Thank, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I get to break out my Irish accent. Omegle.com. Omegle.com. If <laughs> next. Oh. Uh, next. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's your name? Dylan. <laughs> Hi, Dylan. You look punk. I am. I am Irish, winky face. <laughs> Would you like to meet for some ale? <laughs> LOL, sure, winky face. Man, Omegle's really working out for this. <laughs> Man. Omega's gonna be really great for my punk band. <laughs> Do you like punk? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go to Wegmans for our first date. <laughs> so tell me all about him. Uh, so he's Irish. Okay. Um, he hates the British. Okay. It's kind of concerning sometimes, but um, he, he plays in a band, and I think that's really cool. What's the name of the band? Um, the Irish Man Punk. <laughs> the Irish that's, Man Punk. That's a cool name. Yeah. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey. Dylan, I noticed your playing's been off a little bit. Yeah, listen, anything been on your mind lately? Oh, well, it's funny you mention it. There's, there's this girl. She has, her, her punk strings are on my punk heart. Dylan, no. You can't, you, you can't do that, lad. I found my voice. You, lad, we need you to be angry for punk. But what if I don't want to be angry? What if I want to go to Wegmans? What's a, what the frick is a Wigman's? Oh, it's a, is it like a Tesco? Okay, li listen, listen, I, we, there, there's a Wegman's in the UK. Oh, you're gonna go, but we fucking hate those guys. <laughs> you, I, you don't stand for what we used to stand for. I might have to kick you out of the band. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. He said he wasn't coming to brand practice because he was with me. He said he wouldn't come on dates with me because he was in band practice. I, yeah, he's a liar. You should, <laughs> you should break up with him. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna confront him. I'm Make gonna, him angry. Be I'm gonna, mean. I'm gonna find out. It's so nice to finally meet you. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, I'm in this punk band, uh, Irish man punk. And your name's Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what? My favorite thing is punk music. Hating the UK. Oh, surprising. Yeah. Well, also punk music, but. Oh. Okay. Hey, mate. I heard you're from. You also hate the UK, boy. <laughs> it's me, Australia. Your old lad. Oh, uh, yeah. Now listen. I was gonna think about how we're gonna take it to them, right? We were gonna make them use all bunch of confectionic sugar, you know, like for white powdery stuff. You know what I'm saying? Confectionary <laughs> sugar. Confectionary sugar. We're gonna Hell take. Yeah! Oh, what the hell? Are you guys banding together to get the UK? Oh, well, right, I am. And also, he Americans is hate them. Oh my goodness! I recognize him, George Washington. <laughs> yeah. At your service. 
bet you didn't know I had a country accent. <laughs> Man, the Irish, the Irish textbooks lied to me. <laughs> so you're telling me that, you know, you missed our anniversary because Australia and George Washington were teaming up with you against the UK. Yes. We are planning on um, using confectionery sugar, or affectionery sugar, to, to get rid of the, get rid of the white men. So the white powder was confectionery sugar? Yes. <laughs> Take a seat, Dave. All right. You need to stop lying to me. You did not see. I, you have to Australia trust me. and. I, Listen, if she says I'm not real one more time, I'm gonna feed her to the gators. No. All right, I've eaten enough of it. You, you, you have to choose no. me, Australia as a whole, or, or her. Oh well, but but she'll never believe me if I say I, I have to break up with you for Australia. I. I think it'd be more believable if I broke up with her over confectionery sugar. You're breaking up with me for cocaine? <laughs> so how'd it go? Uh, you know, honestly, I'm... I'm not really sure that we we met at um we met at a Walmart. Oh, that'll that'll really throw off the chemistry. I know we there were just we we kept trying to talk, but then people would just come through the middle of the aisle. All of them, uh, just every single one of them. This is why this is why this is why I didn't I didn't like the UK. The WalMarts are always so busy. Yeah, you gotta go to like a more you know. Casual place. Like Omega. <laughs> You're right. What'd you, what you think about my new uh, drum solo? I think I could have used a banjo, but you know. It was pretty good. A banjo? Know? Yeah. I think, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my. I feel like I'm losing my punky edge. Yeah, you are, and if you don't, if you don't spunk up soon, kid, you're gonna get off the, the banjo Irishers, or whatever we're called. I think we're the Irishmen or something. What are we called, mate? Irish band. Oh. Irish band? We're the Irish band? We're the Irish band? Irish band. Irish band, yeah, you're gonna get cut off if you don't get some more edge on you. Oh, no. If you don't shop at Hot Topic only, we're gonna have to Maybe. break in. It'd be pretty punk if I broke some hearts. All right. I hear you need some help building anger in your soul. Yeah, I'm too friendly. I'm here to make you mad. Oh, yeah. All right. What's something that really annoys you? Uh, the British. Okay. <laughs> What's something else that really annoys you? Uh, 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 <laughs> Okay, we'll start with the British. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'll think of something Imagine, later. so you're playing your guitar and I just want you to imagine, or your drums. <laughs> yep. And I want you to imagine that each part of your drum is a different British person's head. And you're just banging on him. Ow! Can you, are you imagining Ow. it? Ow! It's like it's Ow. real, right? Ow! Ow! T! Oh! oh. T! Oh! Crumpy! Oh. <laughs> so, the guy in your band pretends that his, like, the one here is Paul McCartney, the symbol is the Queen, and this one is Ringo. Yeah, oh, don't forget the Austin Powers. Austin Powers. And you don't think that's concerning? Oh, no, 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 it's, we, we, I mean, we all do it, you know. You all do it? Yeah, like, I, I personally imagine um, my guitar is the um, corporate strings of a, a Walmart. Okay, like hating Walmart is one thing, but like picturing specific British people to physically abuse? I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a little far. Well, you know, there was, there was a guy named Walmart. Granted, like, I don't hate him, but like, you know, it, it's almost the same thing. One famous person is equal to one corporation. That, that, that is, look, look, 
I hate the system as much as you do, but we are not going to beat up Paul McCartney. We're not going to have vivid fantasies about like grabbing a baseball bat to, to, to the queen. That's just kind of messed up. She's a frail old lady. Is this because he's been using? OK, I wanted to run this by you before I bring it for your drummer. OK. I have a very lucrative business deal. I'm it's listening. It's going to cost a lot of money, though. OK. I have located the graves of Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. It's, you know, this, it's 50 years from now. <laughs> yes. We can get their corpses. So you're the grave robber, but it's me, the queen. I don't die. Your I plan know. is spoiled. <laughs> you can't It's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem, and I need you to stop taking it, okay? You need to stop taking my confectionery sugar out of the shelf. I use that for baking. It's <laughs> mine. I bought it. But have you ever tried, li listen, listen, Margaret, Margaret, have you ever just like, opened a, a bag of confectionery sugar and just like brushed your tongue against it, the texture. You brush your tongue against it? Yeah, and then I put it back. That's worse. That's worse. You realize how that's worse. Oh my Listen, god. You can't just sit here and act like, would, you would be more mad if I threw out the confectionery sugar. No, like no, I wouldn't. I, no, I wouldn't. I, I, at least I wouldn't have been making muffins for my mom with licked sugar. Boss, I'm licking the cement. I, we can still use it, though. I put it back. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to show you my process? I'm really proud of this one, boss. Yeah, yeah. You mind, uh, you mind doing one real quick? Yeah, you won't, you won't fire me for this one, right? Nope, that one's free. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it back, too. And that helps smooth out the cement? Smooth out the cement, right? So you know, you know those kids put their footprint in. Hmm. Oh, professor. Yes. We still can't figure out how the Romans made their cement so smooth. <laughs> hey, wait. Are these tongue marks? That's ridiculous. You don't think. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Do not even say it. But look, they're, they're identical. Just they keep going. It keeps repeating. What else could it be? It does look like tongue marks. But, but the cement was notoriously poisonous. Po po poisonous. <laughs> Maybe they just had a lot of people. All right, fellow aliens, we need to make some pyramids. All oh, right. How do we make a, an impossible shape, what? such as a pyramid? Uh, I was thinking maybe, you know, you know, Frank, he's got that long tongue. Yes. Maybe we could have him like put like in four triangles, and then they they fold on top of each other. And he licks the side. He licks the side like a postage stamp oh, or man. one of those other things. Man, I hope people. Wow, I hope we get credit for this. This will, no, this will go down in the history books that we did this with Frank's long tongue. Yes, all right, well, uh, get Frank out here. All right, get Frank out. You're going too far. You're saying the pyramids were made by licking them by a giant There's alien. no other way. There's you are going to end up in History Channel. Look, it, it's, it's literally like the same thing. You know how when you are writing someone a letter, right? Yes. You put it in the envelope. How do you seal it? I lick it. But it's an envelope. It's not a 4,000-year-old structure. What shape is the flap that you put down? It's cur- So, St. Peter, I managed to sculpt the perfect man. Oh, OK, yeah, 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 sure. You know, I've spent all my time using chiseling tools and trying to, like, you know, mold it with my hands, but yeah, I finally nice figured it out. Whoa. Come out here, perfect man. I used my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of hot. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey, can can someone hear through the screen? Yeah. Oh. Dylan, are you on are you with a record label? No, I, the, I'm, Dylan, are we about to blow up? No, I'm, with, I'm with my girlfriend. <laughs> she's, 
she a record label? No. Is she, she an agent? No. Nope. She got any connections? Uh, I, I met her on Omegle. Where is she right. from? Rochester. America? Yeah. yeah. You're bringing our band to America? Yeah. Our Spotify stats are gonna go crazy. The U.S. is where the punk was born, baby. We got, we got uh, like water torture. We got um, aggression with one G. We've got um, um, pain in the gut. We've got the best bands. Yep. I used to think America used to have all this different culture, but it turns out it's just torture. Oh. Wait. I don't know if we're ready. I don't know if we're punk enough. Should we maybe get punker? That way we're ready to hit the mainstream in America. You're right. It's New York, baby. <laughs> yeah, it is New York. We have to adapt. So, you're trying to become more punk in the land of spunk America, eh? <laughs> First, you're gonna need to fix that damn two-step there, boy. I've been watching lots of, I've been watching lots of movies. All uh, right, well, oh, you learned that from the films, too. Mm -hmm. A connoisseur, I see. Just like myself. Well, if you come over here to our implements of punk, you'll see we have a... There's like clown shoes. <laughs> we have a water gun, a, a water flower, and a clown shoe. No, it's not a lethal weapon. We're not animals. You, you're, you say this is punk, eh? Yeah, this is the true punk. Hey. Not that other stuff Hot Topic's gonna sell you. Oh. By the way, I was gonna go burn down that place in a second, couple of seconds. You wanted to come? That's really punk. Uh, uh, well, wouldn't that be against the law? Uh, oh, us, damn it! Us punks don't break the law. That's true! <laughs> Yesterday, November 4th, 2016, clown scare. Oh. Did you have something to do with the burning down of a building? Um, no, I, um, no. Wait! <laughs> it would, I mean, he thinks it would be more punk if I the did. The back of his shirt is still, like, smoking. <laughs> I, you know what? You know what? Perhaps I did. Wouldn't that be quite the punk? <laughs> you burned down a building? Yes. I, I just wanted you to be in clown sit so we could be in clown fiestas together so I could, I could tell you I love you. You what? Well, I love you, and I want you to be in a clown car with me so we're closer together. I, I guess, maybe. <clears throat> so, you say you didn't burn down the building. Um, are you, uh, cool? Despite the video evidence are you that the defense has presented, are you cool? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, belie I believe so. Yeah, no, it was me. <laughs> it was me. Have you have you heard our? I have a, I have one of our CDs. Yeah, yeah. If you like the burning down, then you'll love uh, you'll love the the song, uh, rocking rocking over the Atlantic. It's the it's the sound of just fire trucks like screaming down the road. It's it's experimental. Is this recording from the event? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no drums because our drummer quit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that moon. Isn't it beautiful, babe? You're dodging the question. I don't know what you're talking about, babe. You know, I'm just, you know. Who is giving you cocaine? <laughs> oh, man. Babe, are you feeling this grass right now? Ooh, it is just amazing. Dylan? Margaret? Dylan. Margaret? Who is giving you cocaine? We need, I, I. Here's did, your DoorDash order. <laughs> <laughs> listen. It's, listen, Dylan, listen, seriously? It's <laughs> Ireland. Sometimes you just stumble down the road and you just find cocaine on the sidewalk. I, is this, uh, hold on. I thought I, it was McDonald's. I thought it was McDonald's. <laughs> McDonnie's, as you call it in here. <laughs> this is a kilo. <laughs> Deal, I got your backup order. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Get out of my house. Backup order. 
in case you found that one. <laughs> I found it. I found the backup, too. You're really not going to like the third delivery. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Yeah. Well, you're not opening the door if there's a third delivery. You're not opening Domino's the door. Domino's pizza. <laughs> Babe, it's, it's Domino's. It's just a pizza. It's, hold on. No, I'm, I'm getting the door. Hi, one pizza. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, wait, you almost forgot the complimentary, uh, damn, there you go. <laughs> okay. I don't know where the... The window's open. <laughs> it's a little bit warm in here, you know. <laughs> it's, it's closed now, wow. You know, I think, I think the cocaine might be having, like, an osmosis effect. <laughs> osmosis? Well, actually... Where is the cocaine? It's not here. Oh, it was there a minute ago. Did... They're knocking on our window now. Uh, Carol's I... cocaine, we heard you're out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ordering. Uh, well, can what? I, uh, I think, I think you are. I, I don't think. Oh, it's... why did we get a house with two entries? <laughs> I'm, I'm just. Where's your dock? <laughs> Your loading dock from is it here? Right, but go through the window. Oh, no. This is very unprofessional for a cocaine deal, sir. <laughs> I demand respect. Listen, Let me listen. In. it's a big delivery. I won't have any of this. <laughs> and you don't have a problem. Not when. You're not stopping me. I actually, it's quite easy to get cocaine when you're not stopping me. <laughs> I, I can tell, that's still a problem. Is, is this a bad- Oh yeah, I'm the cocaine man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, then you see that too. fun time. We are Brain Wreck Improv, part of RIT Improv. RIT Improv meets every Monday and Thursday at 8 in the 1829 room, so if you want to learn how to do this, come join us. We I'm also a, have a Facebook, uh, an Instagram, we are RIT Improv, we have a campus group, so if you want to do whatever that does, we have a YouTube channel, and yeah, I think that's everything, right? Oh yeah. Right. Thank yeah. you guys for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.